Uh, so you can see there the winds have increased now up to 100 miles per hour with the 4 p.m. update. Uh, of course, that makes it a Category 2 storm now, so it is officially a Category 2 storm. Uh, gust to 120 miles per hour, west and northwest movement, only slowed down one mile per hour, so it's starting that gradual slowdown, and pressure is uh, 987, so pressure about where it was uh, with the last update, but that's the thing. The winds are up to 100 miles per hour sustained now, gusting to 120, so certainly a strong, strong hurricane. Uh, as you can see there, I was talking about the satellite the impressiveness of this. You've got your storms on the northern side of the center, which is here. You're starting to get storms trying to fire up on that southern. You saw that little burst there and really for an intensifying storm, you want uh, storms firing around all sides protects that core and that is an efficient, uh, you know, hurricane basically. So west northwest movement will be watching it very closely as it slowly heads towards uh, the northwest or the west northwest. Now it is still somewhat lopsided, but it's much more symmetrical than we had. We've got that core really developed right now. Notice we've got some bands starting to approach and come through the area. We've got some downpours uh, moving through parts of the north shore, but look at all this rainfall on this side. This is where the flooding threat is just going to be so, so high as this eventually gets moving inland and it slows down. So this is what's going to cause all the flooding problems once it does get close to land. I mentioned we do have some showers. What was that? <laughs> oh, yes. No, I'm getting to it. Thank you. OK, so we do have the showers coming through the area. Of course, we'll continue to see those as we go throughout uh, today. And there we go. There's a the track. All right. So I can already tell you right now it's more of an eastward trend. So they do have it strengthening, getting very close to a category three as we go into this afternoon or later tonight rather. And notice it's shifted a little bit further to the east. That's the trend we've been noticing today is more of an eastward jog. So that is good news for southeast Louisiana. Now uh, you notice they still have it slowing down by 1 p.m. Here's St. Bernard Parish. Here's where they have the center of the storm, uh, basically due south of Jackson County, Mississippi, and then heading to the north. Now we put this in motion. You can see there they have it uh, another east slide with this as it moves into maybe portions of South Mississippi. But look at this. Even Mobile could be dealing with a strong hurricane now as we see that eastward trend. So good trends for us. That's what we've been looking at since about 10 p.m. last night. Of course, this would shift that rain axis out of the area, which means our rain totals certainly could be lower if this track uh, plays out like it does. Now, of course, if it tries to still creep a little bit closer to St. Bernard Parish, uh, we would see greater impacts with regards to rainfall. As you can see there, that eastward trend continues uh, and it has it making landfall late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, right around Wednesday at midnight, if not a little later. So just crawling. I mean, this is a 12 hour or 24 hour difference in between those two points uh, is what we're looking at. So the storm slowly moving uh, and all eyes are going to be on that. But that is an encouraging news uh, for sure. Now our storm surge values uh, are likely not going to change that much, I doubt, because we're already starting to see a little bit of water rise here in the low lying areas like Shell Beach. And when the storm is down here, it's going to be barely moving in between these points. So you're going to have a persistent east flow up ahead of the cyclone, and that's going to continue to push water in the easterly or in the westerly direction. So probably still going to see significant storm surge, even with the track now more into Jackson County uh, and with the, you know, possibly the heaviest rainfall going into portions of Alabama. Now looking at these rainfall totals, this is not updated yet, but this will update. I can guarantee you with the new track and we've been talking about we're on that tight gradient with the rainfall and with it projected to make landfall more to the east. Now these numbers are likely going to start to shift with it. So you could see 10 to 15, 20 inches closer to Mobile, the Florida Panhandle now, whereas our totals could certainly drop off. And if it does end up taking this track, New Orleans could certainly be in that one to three inch range. Now it's certainly possible this thing wobbles a little bit and comes a little closer and we could pick up a little bit more rainfall. But these overall trends we've been talking about uh, are certainly what we like to see here locally. Unfortunately, it looks like they could be dealing with a strong hurricane for parts of South Mississippi and especially into South Alabama uh, going up into Mobile Bay and the Florida Panhandle. So still some uncertainty with that exact track and the wobbles and where this thing exactly is going to go. But you saw there we do have a category two storm. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, winds have been bumped up to 100 mile per hour sustained winds gusting to 120 as it slowly moves west northwest. You can see our weather stations out here. They are reporting gusts to 45, but your most intense winds are going to be right there in that eye wall. And of course, if this does take the track of thinking that would leave the worst of the winds offshore, we would still have the surge coming on in, but it would keep 
keep the worst winds close to the center, which would be more a problem for South Mississippi and possibly going over towards uh, the Mobile area. You can see our winds currently. We are starting to get some breezy conditions. 29 mile per hour gusts there at uh, Hammond, 22 in Slidell, 31 in Port Fouchon, 25 uh, in Gulfport. And of course, we're gusting to 45 down in the main pass. They were gusting to uh, upwards of uh, about 50 earlier this uh, this afternoon. So for the latest 4 p.m. advisory, if you're just joining us, uh, 100 mile per hour sustained winds, it has strengthened more. We've got a category two storm now. Of course, it becomes a category three once the winds reach 111. So 115 is what the advisory would say, gusting to 120 west northwest movement at six miles per hour and the pressure at 987. And I'll give you one final check of the, the track for anyone just joining for the 4 p.m. update. Encouraging news continues for southeast Louisiana. Certainly not good news if you live in portions of South Mississippi or really over into Alabama uh, as the track continues to nudge towards the east. So that's what we're watching. A stronger storm taking more of that easterly track could very well get close to becoming a category three storm at this point. And important to remember, here's the mouth of the river. So you're still going to see some breezy, very gusty winds right there along the shore and going into South Mississippi in that storm surge. Uh, is going to continue uh, as well. So that is the latest of the 4 p.m. Uh, advisory and the, the you know significant changes that we continue to see. The good news with this trend, our impacts would certainly go down here in South uh, East Louisiana. But of course, got to stay very vigilant. These slow moving storms are, are quite, quite tricky.